Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video and I missed making videos, so I decided to just keep making them. Um, I'm not just going to make them about art anymore, though. I'm going to make them about just whatever in my life. Today you're in for a treat because by the title of the video you could probably tell I'm going to be showing you guys some of my oddities collection. I like to refer to it more as a weird stuff slash dead stuff natural science kind of collection. I don't know, but that's what it's going to be. So, get ready. Um, some stuff might kind of be a little disturbing, so if you're easily frightened or you're grossed out by bones and, like, things in jars, uh, I would turn this video off now. Okay, so to start the video off, behind me is where... Oh, let me move over. Behind me is where I keep most of my stuff in this big, um, like, curio cabinet. It's where I keep most of my oddities and stuff. Um, so, I also have a bookcase over there that I keep uh, my two articulations on, which is what I'm going to start with today. Um, my f the first one I'm going to show you is the first articulation I ever did. It is a female possum. You probably can't see it that good. The light's kind of... But this took a pretty long time. I actually found... I actually found that possum uh, by the dumpster in my apartment complex. I took my garbage out and I like turned around to get on my in my car and I saw like these eyes looking at me and <laughs> it was a possum skeleton and so I picked it up with some uh, grocery bags I had in my car and carried the stinking rotting thing into my apartment to clean it. Ew. <laughs> but um, she was missing a leg so I gave her a peg leg. Actually, both of my articulated skeletons are missing legs. Weird. Um, and anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you is also an articulated skeleton. This one is currently broken because I have cats. Story of my life. Uh, ah! <laughs> it is a male raccoon. A very old male raccoon. And this is the part that broke off his back leg. And as you could see, he's missing a leg, so he also has a peg leg. Uh, they, When they knocked him off the shelf, there's a, uh, the glue let go on one of his vertebrae, so his back's kind of floppy, so I don't want to hold him anymore. So I'm going to just... Here are the parts that broke off his front hand, his front right hand, and his... What is it? It's his left back leg broke off. But he's he's going to be fixed very soon. So um, I have another bigger item to show you. Um, this one is, well, this one's small, but the other one's big. This is part of a wasp's nest. And my friend actually knocked this next wasp nest. Her dad knocked it off of their house. It's like four layers. It's it's huge. It's like bigger than my head. And I kept it outside all winter because <laughs> I didn't want any wasps to like still be alive in it after I brought it into my house. Okay, so the next things I'm going to show you are bones and then insects and then I'll show you some teeth okay so first I have this uh, male white tailed deer skull it was broken no it was intact when I picked it up get out of here D sorry my cat's like 
Look, you can see I'm trying to get in the curio cabinet now. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, his skull was intact when I picked it up first. And then my dad's dog got a hold of the skull and it broke on the, the, this part was off and then this part was off and I stuck him back together. I also have the two mandibles from that deer. Can you see it? And then I have one of his scapula and one of his vertebrae. Vertebra, vertebrae, whatever. And from a different deer, I have one shed antler. It's pretty, I mean, it's not big, but, I mean, I don't know. And then from another deer, yet again, I have these three vertebra that are joined together from some connective tissue that I was too lazy to clean off. And that's it for loose bones, except for uh, some bones that were left over, left over from articulating those two skeletons. I didn't, I'm sorry, there's something. Uh, I didn't use all the carpals and tarsals because um, they were my first articulations and I, I'm just not that smart. Okay. Oh, one more bone. There's a wishbone from my Thanksgiving turkey this year. Okay, so what did I say? Insects. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is this dragonfly that my best friend's sister gave to me. And it's still in this bucket that she gave it to me in because she didn't want to touch it. So he's pretty cool guy, he's pretty big. All four of his wings are intact and he's got most of his legs. So I'm just gonna gently set him back in here. Okay, and then I keep the rest of my insects in this little glass thing. So I found this, what I'm assuming is a locust. Um, I got out of my car when I pulled up to my apartment building and he was right there on the ground. Kind of smashed up a little bit, but still pretty cool. And then I got <clears throat> two sheds from Locus. I'm sorry if you can hear my cats running in the background like maniacs. They're crazy. Sorry. I and now and then I got this wasp which my crazy cat killed like a week ago. Okay. And I have this other kind of wasp or something that my cat also killed. Okay, and that's it for insects. So we'll move on to, oh, wait a second. Okay, so I don't know if you could see, but up there on the wall I had two picture frames full of dead stuff. Uh, these ones are some locusts. This one is like the largest locust in the world. I didn't pin them myself. I bought them already pinned, but I did put them on the put them in the frame myself. <sighs> and then this <laughs> this is such a tragic story. Okay, so this is the first skull I ever found. And do you want to know why it's in a bunch of pieces? It's because I soaked it in bleach. Yeah, I soaked it in bleach. And I'm like, oh, it fell apart. That's okay. I'll just put it back together. No. When you soak bones in bleach, it, like, removes all the collagen in the bone and makes it brittle and flaky and... Sooner or later, this bone that I have in here, what's left, because it was a full cat skull when I picked it up. It's all dusty. What's left after it, oh God. What's left after you soak it in bleach is just a flaky mess and you don't want to 
just don't want to deal with that. <sighs> okay, now I'm done preaching. Okay, so the next is I have some teeth. So we'll start with these ones. These teeth are me and my brother's baby teeth. My mom sent these to me as a <laughs> for my birthday, I think, or something, or Christmas or something. I don't remember. So it's just, ah, I dropped one. It's just a bunch of, like, baby teeth. And they're, like, all really weird looking and, like, in tiny shards. Like, this one is the most, like, intact one that I have. I mean, I'm not sure what baby teeth are supposed to even look like, so. It was so long ago when I lost them. Um, so I'm just gonna shove these back in the bottle. Maybe. Dimitri, get out of there. He's trying to eat that stupid dragonfly again. I can't believe it. Okay. Okay, so the next teeth I'm gonna show you are in this bottle here. <sighs> These are my boyfriend's wisdom teeth that he got pulled like three years ago. I have all four of them. When he gave them to me, well, first I had to pester him for pester him for them for a long time. And when he finally gave them to me, he gave them to me all bloody and disgusting. He didn't even try to clean them up or anything. And he gave them to me on our anniversary. How funny was that? <laughs> so, and <laughs> the next teeth I have are two of my grandma's teeth. They apparently just fell out. I don't know. I dropped one. Now I can't find There it is. Okay. These two. They're really <laughs> kind of gross, but yeah. And then... I just have them in this long kind of bottle. I don't really have anywhere else to put them right now. And then the next teeth I have are actually my cat Dimitri, the hairless one. These are his baby teeth and some of his tiny weird whiskers. So I only got four of his baby teeth. I think he swallowed the rest of them. So that's it for bones and bugs. Um, Okay, so now I think we're getting into the grossest part of my collection. We're getting into the grossest part of my collection, which is wet specimens. And I do have one mummy to show you, but I'll save the best for last. Okay, so we'll go from smallest to biggest, I guess. So this, you can't even really see it. There we go. These little floating, disgusting things in this jar are <laughs> actually pieces of my own ear. Um, when I got my conches, this part in here, punched out at a six gauge, I asked the <laughs> I asked the guy if he would give me my little skin flaps back, and he did. So I was going to eat them, but then I decided that it would be cooler to keep them in a little jar. So I did. Okay, so this next one is kind of gross. It's really, really old. This is a crawfish or crayfish or crawdaddy or whatever you want to call it. It's really gross. And I love him because he's such a weird color. Okay, and then <clears throat> this one is a turkey heart. In this really cool round jar. I really like it. And I have the obligatory fetal shark in a jar that you get on vacation. I got mine in Florida. Me and my friend Patrick went to Florida. And the biggest sucker of them all is Georgie, my fetal pig. He He's pretty big. He's, I think he's a 7 to 10 inch pig. I forget. Um, I can't remember. I got him so long ago. But here he is. Sorry for the glare on the screen. He's 
Yep, there he is. So those are all of my wet specimens. <sighs> so now I get to show you like the crown jewel, my favorite thing ever that I've ever been given or found. Uh, my grandpap gave me this mummified chipmunk. He found it. Um, he found it in his attic when he took a roll of carpet down, and this roll of carpet hadn't been touched for like fifteen years. So, who knows how long this poor little guy's been stuck up there? But anyway, here he is. Okay, look away now if you're easily disturbed. Because his little face is, like, extremely disturbing. Okay, so here he is. I keep him under, like, a little cake dome or a cheese dome or whatever this thing is. I found it at um, Goodwill or wherever. Some thrift store. There's his little feet. Right there. He has every one of his little claws and even has all his tail bones, like... It's crazy. Okay, so here's his chest. And then here it comes, his little face. Oh, that's so disturbing. Isn't he adorable, though? Yeah, he's my favorite. And then here's what he looks like with his little dome on him. Because I'm afraid he's going to get crushed somehow in my curio cabinet. I don't know. But that was... I'm sorry you hear my cats see... Or, you see my cats running around back there, but um, that's my um, vulture culture, oddities, natural science, whatever collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know if you want to see more of it. Bye!